Welcome to NTN Nightly. I am Janelle Norville. This edition Stop Stories. The Central Statistical Office of St. Lucia gets up for the quarterly labor force survey. The district of Chazelle soon to solidify its place as St. Lucia's craft mecca. And the Effective Learning Institute continues to aid underprivileged students in St. Lucia. The Central Statistical Office of St. Lucia is gearing up for its quarterly labor force survey. The Ministry of Health and Wellness is working with the Statistical Office, establishing protocols for enumerators who will be returning to the field to ensure not only their safety but that of the public as well. More in this report. The Central Statistical Office of St. Lucia is gearing up to commence its quarterly labor force survey. The Statistical Office, since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, had to resort to conducting its quarterly labor force surveys via telephone. However, now with the reopening of the country, it is looking to recommence its face-to-face -face interviews. Deputy Director of the Statistical Office of St. Lucia, Richard Harris, indicated that the office is working with the Ministry of Health and Wellness in determining protocols for immunerators who are returning to the field that will ensure their safety as well as that of the interviewees. We are here to um, engage the Ministry of Health with regards to our enumerators returning to the field in a manner that would be that would ensure their safety and would ensure that we can um, effectively perform our face-to-face -face interviews as we um, visit the different communities throughout the island um, our surveys our labor force survey especially this this particular engagement is um, directly related to the labor force survey um, which, is, which entails visiting communities, visiting households, and conducting face-to-face -face interviews. So given the um, prevailing conditions concerning the, um, the pandemic and the um, prevailing protocols that are in place, we want to ensure the safety of not only our enumerators, but the persons that we interview at the households. The survey is targeted at a randomly selected group of 800 households from all districts and across all demographic groups. It seeks to measure the levels and rates of employment, unemployment, and economic inactivity in St. Lucia. Department of Environmental Health's Senior Environmental Health Officer with responsibility for COVID-19, Emerson Vitalis, explained that the protocols are based on health standards, the best practices in terms of operating in a COVID-19 environment. These protocols, which were rolled out last Thursday, will aid the enumerators in conducting their tasks in the safest possible way. The enumerators, Vitalis indicated, were also trained accordingly. There are three critical areas which we, we, we speak about, and they, recall, well, they come under infection prevention control. And we, we promote hand hygiene, we promote social distancing, and we promote the wearing of masks, and also hand sanitization or hand hygiene, sorry. So these are what we're going to be, you know, key components of, of the presentation. How do you go into, into, into the field out there? How do you interact, the safest way to interact? And I think, you know, the key one is the, the, the physical distance in between the respondent and the interviewer, how you manage the situation and you get there. And it's not only about just asking the questions, but the enumerators also has to be vigilant in terms of the approach, in terms of even notice, noticing any symptoms or, you know, someone may be exhibiting. Um, it, they, they are not clinical people, but again, if you recognize someone is in a coughing excessively or sneezing, I mean, it, it sends a sign to you. And again, we will... Um, train them today in terms of how to identify some of those key components. The engagement training workshop was held on Thursday, 17th June 2021. The Central Statistical Office of St. Lucia is tentatively looking to recommence its face to face interviews in the next quarter. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norvell. The Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program, which is implemented by UNDP, is supporting St. Lucia's efforts to integrate research and innovation into the apiculture industry. Jesse Leos reports. 
Since 2012, Jeff, SGP, UNDP, St. Lucia has funded 13 apiculture projects totaling EC $1.6 million. Already successes have been achieved in producing byproducts such as soap, shampoo, lotions, candles, muscle pain relief creams, granola and mead, which is a delicious wine. This investment has already contributed to a 15% increase in honey production, trained over 200 beekeepers, and increased their income by 40 to 60%. Recent testing of St. Lucia's honey by a laboratory in France has confirmed its suitability for exporting to the European Union. Driven by a vision which focuses on research and innovation, Jeff SGP UNDP, the Government of St. Lucia, the Ionola Apiculture Collective and other NGOs will establish the Apiculture Research and Learning Institute, ARLI, as a center of excellence for research, innovation and learning in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean. What is the mission of Ali? To contribute to a sustainable climate smart environment for pollinators. So we are going beyond bees to look at all the pollinators in the environment in St. Lucia through a program that is science-driven, important to us, develops and nurtures strategic partnerships, mutually beneficial partnerships, builds capacity, and generates benefits for communities. We believe apiculture has those attributes to uplift our rural societies and to contribute significantly to our economy. According to the Law of Diffusion of Innovation, approximately 2.5% of any population are the real innovators. These, when behind with the early adopters representing 13.5% of any population, will provide the impetus for sustainable development. Jeff SGP UNDP has targeted such pioneers to begin to push us beyond the frontier of science, agro-processing, agriculture and biodiversity in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean. The Ionola Apiculture Collective fits within this pioneering category and has been breaking new ground in this area and will lead us with local and international partners to where we have not been before. We are a collection of young and old beekeepers together, um, working to try to elevate the industry um, and embrace not just the craft of beekeeping, but also embrace the science of beekeeping. Um, the science is the most critical, important thing that we have left behind. And what we've focused on in our organization is to focus on the science, to try to understand what's happening with our bees, uh, where they are failing and where they are not failing, and how we can improve the ecosystem around and the analysis of the diseases possibly that the bees are carrying. During a recent site visit to the IAC Apiculture Training Center in Castries, a delegation from the Embassy of Taiwan, led by Ambassador His Excellency Peter Chen, was introduced to the vision and mission of the Apiculture Research and Learning Institute toward the apiary at Viji and participated in an interactive session of candle making using beeswax. Taiwan uh, provides a broad spectrum of assistance to St. Lucia, including agriculture, education, technology, business, uh, health, etc. And uh, we, we committed to work with the Lucia government uh, to achieve uh, UN Sustainable Development Goals and also uh, enhance resilience to climate change. And we look forward to working with all stakeholders and partners uh, to uh, benefit all solutions and the region. Uh, so uh, I truly believe uh, when we work together, we will share a better future. In the long run, the Apiculture Research and Learning Institute is expected to serve as a multi-purpose field research center that will focus on growth and optimization of the apiculture industry, mangrove, avifauna, and coral species restoration, and the establishment of a vibrant, diverse, and authentic apitourism experience in St. Lucia and the Eastern Caribbean. To achieve these objectives, Arli will create strong, mutually beneficial, and enduring partnerships with St. Kitts and Nevis, Dominica, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago, and Samoa, as well as with local, regional, and international universities and research centers. For the Government Information Service, I am Jesse Leons reporting. The district of Choiselle will soon solidify its place as the craft mecca of St. Lucia. Export St. Lucia announced that it has been receiving increased interest in Chazelle's craft products such as coal pots and weave baskets from foreign markets. 
as interest from the UK and US markets continues to increase. Export St. Lucia's Chief Executive Officer CEO Sunita Daniel said that Export St. Lucia is collaborating with the Schwozel Craft Association to aid it in accessing foreign markets. One step towards making this a reality is the cataloging of craft products. So what we're trying to do is to get the craft items online and for sale um, by the outside customers and so they'll be able to access coal pots, um, weave the baskets, anything that the crafters have um, and they'll be able to access those online. Export St. Lucia is currently working with a buyer in the U.S. market and is in the process of shipping craft items to the United States. Anticipating the growth of St. Lucia's craft industry, the CEO explained that there are plans to expand to other communities. One of the things that Export St. Lucia does is because we are a development agency is that we fill in any gaps that the, the producers themselves are experiencing. So for example, if we see that there is additional need to um, beef up their own expertise, we do that for them. And so um, we do a lot of hand-holding of our clients. Um, we don't believe anybody should be doing it alone. There's a lot of that until we can say, okay, we let you go and do what you have to do. So we will be starting with Chozelle, but we do expect to um, really develop a comprehensive program for craft um, throughout the island. Export St. Lucia assured its commitment to the growth and development of St. Lucia's craft industry, finding new ways of supporting the industry and meeting the demands of foreign markets. The Effective Learning Institute continues to play a significant role in St. Lucia's education sector, providing aid to underprivileged students. Hamadi Mark tells us more. The Effective Learning Institute, a regional organization committed to improving learning conditions for the underprivileged, has donated to families in need. The institute, headed in St. Lucia by former educator Peter Anius, provides scholarships to students of underprivileged families. The scholarships cover the cost of uniforms, textbooks, school supplies, tuition fees, transportation, and meal hampers. The provision of these essentials is intended to better equip and encourage students to stay in school. Peter Anius, Island Coordinator of the Effective Learning Institute, says the organization hopes to reduce the rate of school dropouts and, by extension, reduce unwanted social ills. Too often we have children going to school, they do not have what is required, and hence we have problems. So our, edu our organization, what we do is to help these parents, provide the children with what they need. What do we provide? I will remind everyone of our main objectives. And as I read from our document, which stipulates that the ultimate aim of our project of fund is to empower all less fortunate and underprivileged children, those of low socioeconomic status, children whose parents just cannot make ends meet. The scholarships provided by the Institute are funded via crowdsourcing. Philista Flavius is the grandmother of three students who continue to benefit from the Effective Learning Institute. She made a plea to the public to contribute generously to the work of Mr. Anius and his team. Mr. Anius uh, have been providing things for these children for, for many years. And I am asking the, the people out there, when they see Mr. Mr. Peter Anius out there, and he said he's asking for donation. Please try and help because the donation is going a long way and with groceries and school fix, school supplies. And I'm thankful for, for that because he, he, he helps the grandchildren of, over the, the years. The Effective Learning Institute has on several occasions worked collaboratively with AS Mirage for the provision of school uniforms to the underprivileged. From the Government Information Service, Mark reporting. The former owner of the St. Lucia Stars T20 team donates promotional paraphernalia to schools and youth cricket programs in St. Lucia. One such presentation was made to the Northern Cluster Grassroots Cricket Program. Good afternoon to all. Um, we are here at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground handing over some cricket paraphernalia like cups, bats, cell phone casing, cups, cones and other items which is actually from behalf of Mr. Pandey, former owner of St. Lucia Star. True Mr. Singh is handing over to the Northern Grassroots Cricket 
club for to use for your enhancement in training whatever part of training you're doing for at the youth level or at the higher level make full use of it either in communication wise training wise and maybe those bags can be used to carry your little gear i hope you enjoyed the little token and i must thank you for being here and making that special effort to be here this afternoon to have this little ceremony this handing over so thank you once again yeah well let me just thank um you mr singh yeah, and mr pandy um for, for such a nice um, gesture obviously we're going to use it um to the best of, of ability i mean there's bags there there's bottles which can sh surely be used by, by the students so thank you very much and um, we hope that in the future maybe we can get bigger and better things from you yeah de definitely um i believe it was a very good gesture i i know it will mean a lot to the guys um every time we always look into um for ways to enhance our game i mean there's water bottles um phone cases and bags that you guys can use um to better the train and the transport and communication um to training so i believe that is a very good gesture as as was mentioned i, I believe that this gesture would allow um more of the players to be aware of the senusha team the senusha zooks team i believe that it will just broaden their um, based amongst the young individuals to get to know um, more of the Senusha Zooks. Um, majority of them at, at maybe their age were not aware of the CPL, but now they are fully aware of them, the Senusha Zooks at this point. Good run, good run. Good run. Can we get some clapping, a little clapping? Yeah, go the leg, go the leg. Yeah, Isaiah, the camera is on that side there. The public is hereby informed of the temporary closure of the Four Codra Road from the main road by Mr. Pap Forestier Castries from Tuesday, 22nd June 2021 to Tuesday, the 29th of June 2021. This is to facilitate roadworks in that area. The Department of Economic Development apologizes for any inconvenience caused. This is NTN Nightly. Up next, Primus Hutchinson with the NTN Nouvelle of the Lord. Climat la terre a changé. Et ça a affecté nous toutes. Cyclone qui a venu plus mauvais. Gros de l'eau et que la panne de l'eau qui a détruit les animaux et plein. Quand la mer a venu plus chaud et qui a tué place qui se présente dans la gravité. La mer choua qui a aussi changé de manière se présente qui a quitté de l'autre côté et qui a allé à l'autre côté. Cette liste a contribué à un petit usine de gaz en espace. Quand un petit pays nous a essayé de faire tout ça nous a fait pour assurer qu'il nous baissait à ce quantité de gaz nous a servi pour empêcher la terre de venir plus chaud. Et faut pour baisser à ce quantité de gaz nous a servi, c'est mitigation. Le climat a changé. Il a changé depuis que nous tout au niveau de la terre, Kabouli, gaz, l'huile et le chèbon. Et ça, quand on cause la terre, il a changé plus chaud. Ça, nous ne pouvons faire tout le monde, c'est pour adapter. Nous faisons tout ça nous a fait pour préparer et répondre pour ces conséquences négatives à la cause du changement climat. Nous tous, ça fait quelque chose. Par exemple, nous ne pouvons assurer qui nous protéger tout ça nous a planté. C'est vie fumier qui est naturel. Pratique quand nous pouvons abattre des manches en temps cyclone et gros de l'eau. Construit un canal pour de l'eau couille bien quand il faut. Et assurer qui le canal là par les ordi. Fait tout ça qui est possible pour vivre en temps changement climat ça. Trouvez plus d'informations à ce plan d'adaptation national gouvernement et des marches ou même ça prend pour protéger corps et tout notre cette lycée. Welcome back. We join Primus Hutchinson for the NTN Nouvelle au Creole. Monsieur Ta, Janelle, Monsieur, Madame, Department de Responsabilité pour la formation en gouvernement cette ci ça c'est GIS, en ce moment, Télévision Nationale PIA, NTN, Capositeau Nouvelle en Creole. Pour cette heure, Primus Hutchinson. Département des services publics cette ci chaque acte bel et puis nation unie pour observer journée des services publics le 23 en mois de juin 2021 service public cette ci toujours te ca célébrer observance ça là et puis en grande quantité activité mais l'occasion caï bien douce l'année ça là à résultat des maladies corona pour ça ça là la caïni en trois activités qui commencé lundi le 21 pour le 27 en mois de juin 2021. Il y a un c'est un jour pour honorer et apprécier la contribution au travail en service public là et pour l'occasion de ça là. L'occasion de ça là, il y a un aspect qui toutes les agences qui ont choisi c'est maintenant 
pour montrer appréciation pour ce travail là ce qui a fait c'est tellement bien particulièrement en service yo bay di wan tan malade corona te ka pesé en sou pays là selon ce que par mon ministère des affaires services publics cette ci mademoiselle Peggy Anne Soudat les employés j'attends commitment pour mission service public là malgré toute difficulté malade ça là Soudat a vrai que si toute agence ça montre yo ka apprécier travail ce service public là et valeur contribution yo ça ka véritablement rosser l'intérêt yo et que yo ka produire encore plus toujours ça ka aussi encourager service public pour improver à ce euh, bon travail qui yo chaque a fait l'autre activité c'est un service religieux pour différents à la fois qui ka point coup en ça c'est mercredi le 23 en mois de juin 2021 en grande cathédrale catholique à Castries service ça là ka pas être face à public à sur télévision indienne et page facebook gouvernement activité pour observance journée des services publics ka bout et puis une grande discussion vendredi le 25 en mois de juin 2021 à 9h matin en studio GIS ça ka pour tuer l'occasion pour la nuit discussion côté nation kaisa bay opinion yo concerné situation travail en ba corona en cette ici et qui ça ça veut dire pour secteur public là et qui façon et plan qui en place pour agir et puis ces challenge là et puis succès à ba maladie corona autorité de safe touristique cette ici j'ai trouvé confirmation qui yo j'ai trouvé sélecté pour grand l'année à ba titre là ça c'est titre là tourist board pour l'année non ça là cap porter nous travel industry awards autorité touristique cette ici ça c'est euh c'est celle destination à Caribla qui trouvé sélecté pour grand l'année ça là grand l'année touristique ça là ça c'est travel industry awards ca trouvé à ba ça yo l'homme travel trade gazette you know c'est chef agence de média à l'Angleterre principal responsabilité organisation ça là c'est pour montrer service en industrie qui en haut degré et qui laisse à ces agences qui ca procurer des gros services là qui les consommateurs plus mieux ça qu'a fait principalement pour l'année 2021 pour célébrer ces organisations et business touristique qui fait bon progrès en bas maladie corona en bas catégorie primaire tourist board pour l'année c'est un côté industrie ça là supposé montrer qui manière yo continuer pour opérer et rester actif et visible à sur la place touristique et aussi pour engager l'autre agence avec les travailleurs du temps ça là qui était si tellement brutal c'est seulement huit destinations qui trouvait choisi pour grand l'on est ça là ministre qui niveau responsabilité pour affaire touristique à cette ici on va Dominique Fédé dit que pour yo l'année qui porter si tellement tracassement c'est un gros croyance pour tout qui fait gros contribution pour chain business tourist à cette ici vivant on va faire des faire comprendre qui pour yon petit pays comme cette ici pour trouver sélection en parmi destination qui cette fois plus grand qu'un pays comme Australie et Thaïlande Kamutwe qui paye à service outils qui était bien suivi avec travail web avec résilience avec gros esprit qui Kamutwe qui nous tout de tout tenir capacité et capacité pour faire progrès à ba pèse corona. Dernier stage de jugement pour grand on est là qui fait par un groupe indépendant de chef à secteur touristique là. Annoncement pour industrie qui gagne compétition ça là qui fait à Londres le 30 en mois de septembre 2021. Le net touristique ça là c'est ça c'est c'est seul le net touristique ça là ça c'est travel industry awards là c'est plus haut en marque de excellence qui a représenté destination des affaires touristiques à la terre quand préparation en place pour bord neuf et neuf tour commencer opération les cultivateurs et les pharma qui certifié PN PN cause pour l'autre qui part et gère aussi développer un plus haut l'intérêt particulièrement industrie fig à cette ici. Ça c'est opinion ministre des affaires agricoles à PIA en Europe Ezekiel Joseph. Selon ministre agricole là, c'est Pharma qui a cette qui j'ai certifié qu'elle ça recevrait toutes ces ces pour qui nécessaire 
pour yo avant de faire yo à l'anglité parce que yo j'ai apporté bonne réputation des bon qualité fruit mais ministre agricole là conseiller les cultivateurs fig pour toujours faire assurer la nion la place pour yo produit pour produit yo avant yo commencer planter moi toujours advice farmers pas de lever le bon matin de vous faire planter et puis dans le temps ou qu'à avec ou acheter la place ou acheter la place là la place là où nous vous assurer la place là là avant avant planter so you know say bon by about fig là la place là là right so pour ça I mean nous still a fig because là nion la place because nous pas tenir la place mon mon pas de gai pas de gai planter fig et puis pour de pour l'année passée nous tenir chai challenge et puis la place là because been fresh um, went under so so c'est un chemin nous pas à côté qu'à faire même même manière nous pour faire changement Là, il vient pour une situation côté en l'eau, il faut qu'il trouve rejeté, afin de rejeter, conforme à l'habitude de créer cette situation. Le ministre Joseph dit que tout le monde sait pour quelle raison ça va continuer à faire. Si on a un homme qui a été possible de faire un harvest en ce bret fig, et pour dire qu'on a eu 20 bret fig, l'autre semaine ou une semaine après, il vient à faire un harvest. C'est le fig qui est plus avancé, c'est le gars qui prend. All right? So, ça a affecté la qualité de la Mais si les la ont une manière pour ça, tous les semaines, couper tout ça est né. C'est ça. Bon pour six semaines. Ou pas qu'il y ait des problèmes et puis overgrade. Parce qu'on ne pas si poser des problèmes pour overgrade, parce qu'on peut avoir Et puis pour ça, nous tous les advice farmers that ça fait fortnightly cutting, ce n'est pas bon. Si c'est 10 boîtes de figurines pour semaine, on prend figure tous les semaines. Tous les semaines, on va avoir une figure à son right grade là. Et puis, ça fait comme turn and ripening over great fruits, pas de problème. Mais, of course, on peut balancer l'eau avec 10 boîtes. Est-ce qu'on a assez l'argent pour payer tout à l'heure? Right? So, 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 ça, ça fait business là. So, il y a des boîtes pour 10 semaines. Il y a des boîtes pour 3 semaines. Et puis, ça n'est pas bon. Il n'est pas bon, vous comprenez? Donc, so, um, ça se balance là. Avec M. et Mme, ça se côté notre bout de nouvelle là pour aujourd'hui. Je vous remercie autant pour vous regarder. Je vous remercie une invitation pour vous remercie encore. Si vous concevez la vie, vous allez vous présenter une autre nouvelle à Kouyol. À présent, je vous remercie pour vous présenter une autre Merci à Pil Primus. Et ça nous amène à la fin de notre NTN Nightly. Join us next time at 7 p.m. with a repeat at 7 a.m. You can also catch up with us anytime on the St. Lucia Government Facebook page or YouTube channel. I am General Norville.